welcome back. So I was gone for about two months um, from my house in Colorado and I was in Florida with my family and the whole time um, I had a friend who came here and took care of my animals and everything and he did a great job. But uh, one of my vivariums, that one, is way overgrown because he didn't know how to take care of vivarium because you know he doesn't do vivariums <laughs> or bioactive stuff and so this tank um, is a freaking jungle right now it's insane and this is where my green tree frogs <laughs> where my green tree frogs live and it is just a freaking jungle right now so we are going to fix that I'm going to be um, cutting it all out and making sure it comes back to kind of what it used to be. <laughs> There's some plants that did not make it. This bromeliad was doing amazing, but due to all the plants covering the light, it died from having no light. I mean, I think it's dead. I don't think it can come back, but we're gonna see what it looks like after I cut it all out. And yeah, it's just a little kind of update. Basically what we are going to do is just go around and cut some plants out. Like, look at this. This is huge. And I am happy that the moss is still really thriving in here. Um, these two plants are the major cause of this havoc this one I forgot what it's called I think it's the money word something like that this one has just taken over completely along with the Anubias that were in the back these reddish tint ones and it just it was just um, a problem of I'm fighting against the other plants, like just using up all the resources. <laughs> this air plant is devastated and it's not coming back though. This used to be an air plant and it was really doing really well. Used to be an air plant. Too mushy though. Too gone. We'll have to remove it, sadly. I really liked it. I don't know how much of the microphone is still alive. I'm sure there's a lot of springtails and maybe a few more isopods left alive. But I will um, refill this with new microfauna. Make sure they clean up all this dead material that stays in there. We're gonna have to fight to get it back, but it's alright. I'm sure we can accomplish it. And if everything dies, it always gives us a chance to restart and just. Remake the vibarium, plant some new plants completely, and just forget about this old foliage. Bromeliad is also dead, so sadly it has to go. So this is kind of what we have left. Um, as you can see, there's not really much plants, just moss. <laughs> That fern might come back, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to just clip it completely and see if it comes back. But um, this is another Anubia. I think I might remove it since it's just, I found out the hard way how freaking parasitic it is. But I think it's crazy the difference. Just insane to me. Gonna have to get some new bromeliads, maybe some new plants for the back. But all in all, it's way better now. <laughs> Quite the freaking difference.
I just want you to appreciate all of the freaking plants that I just took out. Like, this is ins an insane amount. Like, this is just so much. Oh my goodness. And so, here's what I was talking about. Here's my bromeliad. What's left of it. And it is dead. And you can tell because it's starting to just completely slough off. This was one that's really pretty. But it's gone. Um, the air plant gone and all of this is just two plants two plants that completely took over they're the same two plants we were left with pretty much just moss some oak leaves that's still alive back there hoping that that will completely take over because if that takes over I'm okay with and this is just completely bare so Looks like I'm gonna have to bring some new plants in here, or maybe cut some of the moss and maybe have it grow down here like it used to. Not sure yet, but this is what we left at. It's been close to around six months since we redid this thing and this is what it looks like today beautiful lush green a creeping fig as I, um, as I theorized did take over the background <laughs> which I love because it looks beautiful uh, the moss just completely took off once, once more and as you can see there's that vine going everywhere that creepy fig it's just awesome we have a different variation back there that I added a few months ago and that bromeliad back there has been there since I remade the tank and this bromeliad actually gave me a pup which I took off I cut off and put here and this is what it looks like today. So this is just to show that it can be done. Uh, vivariums can crash and that's all right because you can remake them and actually make them look even better. And yeah, I'm in love with this. It just looks beautiful. Just beautiful. The frog, there's, there's still one frog in here. It's in the back somewhere. Um, the other one sadly passed away, but we still have one. And it just loves this setup. Um, it eats and croaks every now and then. It's beautiful for a frog. But the key to this success is both isopods and, well, really mostly isopods. They do a lot of the job in here. But definitely also springtails. Springtails and isopods, my cleanup crew. They've been doing a lot of work here. I also have a few uh, millipedes that I've caught in here, that I've caught in my yard and put them in here. <laughs> They've done, the, they've done the job too but this is just this is what we got after six months if you enjoyed this video uh, please give it a thumbs up I really appreciate it if you will and if you want to see stuff like this more often go ahead and subscribe I'm trying to post more things like this if you like this this setup I might be able to replicate how I made it so let me know if you want something like that let me know down in the comments below. Peace. Whoa. <laughs>